For more interesting videos please do subscribe, and turn on the bell icon, let's get started. The film begins in Scotland. After seeing a picture of a monster in a hotel, a couple dubbed it, fake. According to an elderly man, this picture of the monster is a forgery. Let me tell you about the real monster. They take their seats, eager to hear his story. The man's story begins during World War II. Angus, a boy, lived with his mother and sister. Angus' father used to work for the Royal Navy. His ship went missing for a year, and no one knows whether he is still alive or not. Angus, on the other hand, remains hopeful that his father will return. Angus is afraid of water. That's why, unlike other boys, he doesn't dive into the sea. He used to see the sea from a far distance. He collects the seashells. While collecting seashells he finds an egg. Angus brings it to his workshop. He sees something magical when he removes the dust from the egg. It was difficult for him to understand what it was. Angus hears his mother's voice, he leaves while dropping the egg there. When Angus left the egg started moving and it was raining heavily that night. Angus wakes up due to some voice. This voice was coming from the workshop. Angus is thinking about the egg, so he moves to the workshop, despite the fact it is pouring outside. He sees something while walking there. He couldn't see what it was because of a variety of factors. When he moves near a plant he notices a strange small creature. Angus moves his hand forward for touching it the creature gets scared. It attacks Angus. Angus feels maybe the creature is hungry so he brings a potato for it. He touches it while feeding it a potato. Angus sees the creature is injured so he bandages it. Angus has to leave because his mother arrives. The Royal Air Force arrives at their home the next morning. They come here to keep an eye at sea, maybe any German submarine is spying on them. Now the officers will live inside their house. Meanwhile, the soldiers will do a campaign outside. A captain was leading them. Angus tries to tell his sister about the creature. But he couldn't tell her. He researches the creature in the library but he didn't find anything. Angus notices that the creature has made a mess in the workshop. Angus realizes it is doing all this because of hunger. Angus goes to the kitchen to bring something to eat. But the army has occupied everything. Noticing this, Angus brings the garbage for it to eat. Angus named that creature Crusoe. They have become friends now. Angus feels its skin weird when he touches it, he makes a small swimming pool while putting water into the garbage can for Crusoe. Crusoe enjoys it. While promising Crusoe I will return, Angus goes inside the house while leaving Crusoe in the water. After that, a bar scene is shown. A mysterious man goes to drink. He was feeling strange while hearing the people and soldiers conversation. Angus's mother becomes worried while seeing the bad condition of the workshop. Meanwhile, the mysterious man in the bar arrives. His name was Lewis. He is sent here as the handyman of Angus's mother. Angus's mother tasks him with cleaning the workshop. She tells him I think Angus has secretly placed his pet here. Because he is not allowed to keep pets. That's why if you find any animal, throw it out. Crusoe was not inside when Angus saw Lewis while emptying the garbage can. Angus gets worried and asks Lewis to move out of his workshop. Lewis scolds Angus and throws him out of the workshop. The captain meets and tries to talk to Lewis. Lewis answers him rudely and runs from there. Angus searches for Crusoe. He didn't find Crusoe anywhere. Later, Crusoe is shown going inside the house in search of Angus. The dog of the army attacks it. Crusoe hardly escapes and then it hears water's voice. It goes to the bathtub of Angus's sister. Angus's sister gets scared seeing it. She starts shouting. Hearing her shouting voice, Angus runs to her. He reaches the bathroom with his sister and notices Crusoe has grown older. Angus tells everything to his sister. He asks her to keep this secret. He knows if his mother will know about Crusoe she will throw it out. Angus's sister sees her brother excited after a long time. She says to Angus I will keep this secret. However, a problem arose. Angus's mother tells Louis the guest room's washroom is damaged. You go and fix it. The washroom where Crusoe is. Lewis moves to fix the washroom. Lewis refuses to come inside, despite the siblings' best efforts. But they have to open the door because there is no other option. Lewis gets scared seeing Crusoe. Crusoe was so pretty that Lewis also liked it. Crusoe attacks Lewis, being scared when he moves his hand forward to touch it. In the same way, it attacked Anyus. Lewis tells them it is a water horse. He claims it's a rare creature, and that only one water horse can be found at a time. 
Before dying, the water horse lays an egg. Then the other water horse appears, Lewis was telling them. Meanwhile, they hear Angus's mother's voice. They do teamwork and successfully hide Crusoe from Angus's mother. The captain invites Angus's mother to dinner. Angus's mother accepts the invitation. Lewis makes Angus understand Crusoe can't live for the rest of life in the bathroom tub. You have to release it. So it will live in the sea. It will spend its free life. But Angus disagrees and Angus's mother goes to dinner after getting ready. Angus was feeding Crusoe. Meanwhile, Angus's sister arrives and takes him with her. Angus mistakenly leaves the washroom door open getting a chance from it, Crusoe comes out. The army dog again chases it. Angus becomes worried while not finding the dog. He returned to Crusoe and Crusoe was running to escape from the dog. Crusoe gets scared while finding the animal statues everywhere. It was just running. Angus goes behind when he hears the barking voice of the dog. The dog was ruining things in order to hold Crusoe. Crusoe moves under the dinner table to escape from the dog. The dog ruins the dinner table and the dinner of the army. Getting a chance from it, Angus takes Crusoe from there secretly. Angus's mother becomes furious at Lewis. She orders Lewis to take Angus for sleep. Crusoe hides in the water to save its life. Lewis asks Angus to move into his room immediately. He promises he will search for Crusoe. The next morning, Lewis finds Crusoe whose size has been increased. Its size became huge and now it was difficult to keep it secret. Angus and Lewis were going to drop it into the sea. While inserting a stone into his heart, Angus notices Lewis, who was taking Crusoe in the water. Because Angus knows this place is safe for Crusoe, Lewis returns to the workshop and meets the captain. He leaves while behaving strangely with Lewis. Later, two men from the town go fishing. Crusoe becomes entangled in their net. They leave being scared. The captain takes permission from Angus's mother to keep him far from Lewis. He will make Angus work with him. He does this so he will give any purpose to Angus's life. Angus completes the work assigned to him by the captain at all hours of the day and night. One day, Angus finds a chance and moves secretly to the sea to meet Crusoe. But he didn't find Crusoe anywhere. Angus bravely enters the middle of the sea. Suddenly, he feels water flowing from him. He sees behind and finds a massive Crusoe. Now it has fully grown. It was a magical and cute moment. They were happy and enjoyed it a lot. Crusoe takes Angus for a water ride while taking him on its back. During the ride, Crusoe goes underwater. They enjoy this adventurous water ride. Angus's fear of water was also alleviated as a result of it. When Crusoe was saying goodbye to Angus, meanwhile, an army officer sees them. Being scared, Angus asks Crusoe to run from there. Angus shares his experience with his sister and Louis. Angus's mother feels good while seeing them happy. Louis sees Angus's mother at the door and goes to Angus's mother. And says I was a soldier before. I got injured in a war. I was about to lose my hand then I left the army. That's why I am a handyman, the captain gets jealous while seeing them talking. He asks his soldier about Louis' record. He discovers Louis' record is clear. He is an army man with a good history. As a result, the captain becomes quiet. Then a local man was talking about the monster. Meanwhile, a reporter says he will go in search of the monster. So after the war, he will attract the people to his town due to the monster. He will make it famous for tourism. The captain takes the people to show his work. He throws the water bomb so any underwater submarine will be destroyed. Angus tries to stop them while being worried for Crusoe from all this. But he couldn't stop them. When Angus moves forward to make captain understand, the captain scolds him badly. Angus's mother becomes furious and asks to leave. The captain has lost his respect here. The townspeople didn't find the monster so they made a fake monster to attract them. They take pictures. The same picture the couple has seen at the start of the movie. Reaching home, Angus's mother locks him in the room. Angus's sister secretly takes him from the room. Angus goes to see Crusoe with Louis. Crusoe appears in front of Louis. I was scared due to the incident. It was aggressive. It was not obeying Angus. It gets out of control. Angus blames Lewis for all this. It was his idea that Crusoe will be saved in the sea. The army people go to the sea while hearing about the monster to hunt it. Hearing the dog's voice army's boat and Angus moves that way. The army's people were attacking Crusoe. Crusoe tilts their boat being furious. Crusoe was about to end up with a man but Angus came to stop it. 
due to the message of the boat that the Germans have attacked. Angus's mother goes in searching for Angus with the captain while not finding him at home. Crusoe was not obeying Angus. To stop it Angus goes inside the sea. So Crusoe will not harm anyone. Meanwhile, an army officer shoots at Crusoe. Lewis tries to stop him. But he couldn't stop him. Later, it is shown there were no bullets in the gun. Crusoe was saved because of it. Angus didn't know how to swim, so he drowned. Crusoe goes to save Angus while leaving the man. It takes him upside while saving him. Angus appears to have died as a result of drowning. Angus suddenly awakes and seeing him alive, Lewis and Crusoe feel happy. Meanwhile, Angus's mother and the captain arrived. Angus again tries to tell his mother about Crusoe. But she doesn't listen to him. Meanwhile, Crusoe stands behind her. Everyone gets shocked seeing it. The army starts attacking. Instead of leaving Crusoe alone, Angus goes with it on its back. They move behind them in a boat to save Angus. Due to the net, they can't move forward. On it, Angus says an emotional goodbye to Crusoe and departs the boat. Crusoe doesn't stop but moves to another side while breaking the net. It was safe. They become happy after seeing this. After finishing the story, the old man tells the couple Angus did not meet Crusoe again after that day. It is revealed here that the old man's name was Angus. A boy is shown in the next scene near the beach. He has the same egg-like appearance as Angus had. With it, the film comes to a close.